Good evening and welcome to another edition of What's Happening. I'm Elliot Margolis, I'm hosting today and we have a little different kind of a show for you today. Today we are at Safety Academy USA in the Cumming Center, Building 100, Room 213. 212E. 212E, I was close, I was only one off. 212E, and we're gonna show you a demonstration today about pepper spray, why it's important that kids who are 14 and over can be trained to use it because when you watch the news on a regular basis and you hear people in high schools and people in colleges getting abducted and worse than that sometimes, you want to teach your kids self-defense. This is where to do self-defense. This is where you learn. This is where you can get situational awareness. You like that? I do, yes. Uh, situational awareness of your conditions, where you are, and when to use pepper spray. So today we have Mike Polonzi as our guest. Uh, and Mike teaches these courses. They're available to all kids 14 and up, 14 correct? 14 and older, yes. And let's get on with it. This is gonna be a presentation that I think you're gonna find very important. All right, I wanna thank you guys and ladies for coming here tonight, um, really appreciate it. And also, I wanna thank your parents. I know I thanked them when they dropped you off for being here, allowing you to participate in this. <clears throat> so as you know, they changed the laws on pepper spray. You now have to be 14 years of age to apply for your FID card, and 15, 16, 17 year olds can now possess pepper spray, which is awesome. Um, as you know, I've been a firearms, chemical munitions, defense tactics instructor for the last 21 years, and I've always loved the fact that pepper spray works well and has a lot of advantages, especially for women, kids. Um, it works on animals too, we'll talk about that. <clears throat> First thing I wanna talk about, a little situation awareness. I've added this in because 22 years ago, we really didn't have cell phones, we do now, now everyone's on their phone. So I want to just bring some things to make you aware of. We're going to talk about some basic safety. Then I'll go right into identify the effects of OC, types of different pepper spray, and how they're delivered. <clears throat> safety first. Why are you here? You're here to be safe, right? That's why your parents brought you here. We know we're going to talk about keeping yourself safe at school, to and from work, to and from school, in the world itself. We always want to be safe every place and everything you do. Have a little situation awareness. Obviously, this guy has no situation awareness. He's just focused on fishing, doesn't realize he's gonna be eaten by a shark. And I know you guys are gonna say, Mike, how often do you think I'm gonna get eaten by a shark? I got you, probably not so much, but how about this? You guys, high potential for bumping your forehead or toe into a pole. So that's more realistic. <clears throat> Things happen all the time. Now that we're in the digital age, everyone's walking around with their heads down, they're not paying attention to what's going on. This is true, what actually happened. So obviously, a lot's going on here. Her cell phone just got doused. She is soaked, her pocketbook's soaked. Um, she's just not having a good day. If you open your packets up, what I've done is through different courses, I developed kind of a checklist of things that I want you to take with you. You're gonna take that packet with you. You know, safety in numbers, I want to talk about when you guys travel. I know you guys are big on the rail trail. It's a good idea to go in pairs or with a group of people if you can. <clears throat> Let a parent know where you're going, so important. Where you're going and what time you're going to be back. And if plans change, like would happen today, me and your father talked and we got the whole thing rolling. So everyone knew where you were and what was going on, where you were going to be. You know, pay attention to surroundings, including traffic and people. At night, I mean, it gets dark at four now. So try to walk around with its lights on street lights, not back roads or dock paths. Um, <clears throat> always don't text and walk as you saw. I know you drive, don't text and drive. You'll be driving soon. Always, I'm sure they're gonna go through that in depth. Never get in a car, someone you think has been under the influence of drugs or alcohol. I know you guys wouldn't do that. You're all good kids, you come from good families, but you know what? We all have that one friend and it's okay to be there friends with them. Just don't let those friends put you in a bad situation. <clears throat> Online, please never tell anyone your home address. 
I know where you live. I know where you live. You're my neighbor. I don't need to go online to find out where you live. So if someone's asking you, oh, by the way, which address where you live, that's time to get out of that conversation. <clears throat> Another big thing today, bowling's big. I tell everyone, if you're having a problem that's just overwhelming, you don't get it, talk to a parent, talk to an adult. It doesn't have to be your parent. It can be a teacher, someone you trust. Not so much your buddy, not that I don't think you guys get along well, but teenagers giving teenagers advice sometimes isn't the best thing. Another thing as far as teenagers go, if you're at a party or someone's house, you're having some Coke, soft drink, whatever, don't leave it around. Not that I think your best friend would put something in there, but if there's a lot of people that you don't know who's actually at the party, Sometimes kids do stupid stuff and put drugs in other kids' drinks. If not, I only just see how they react. So I always tell people, keep your drink with you. Even when you go in the bathroom, just take it with you go in the bathroom. <clears throat> if you find yourself in a bad situation, uncomfortable, hey, I did this, I still, well, I use my wife now, you guys can use your parents. You know what, I gotta get out of here. My parents gonna kill me if I don't get home. I forgot to call them, I gotta go, I just wanna listen to them. Put it all on your parents, make your parents bad people. Get out of there and life, it makes it easier for you to get out of that whole potty, bad atmosphere situation. <clears throat> I teach this in every class. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. The hair on the back of your neck stands up. Go with that feeling. Call 911. If you're outside, go somewhere safe, any public building, convenience store, preferably a fire station, police station if you're near there. You never want to go in someone's home or in their car. If someone pulls up, hey, you all right, if they see you're upset, can I help you? Yeah, call the police. Oh, get in my car, we'll wait. No, I'm not gonna get in your car. If they really wanna help you, they will call the police. You always wanna be in the public eye. Um, when you do call 911, first thing I want you to do is give them a street number, street you're on. If you're in front of downtown Danvers, you know, Rocco's Pizza, there's a prom, give them some kind of landmark. <clears throat> any guys have any questions on that? Common sense, you guys are all smart, you, you know to do this, excellent. <clears throat> all right, so there's my basic safety for you kids. Let's go right into pepper spray. And keep us safe if those situations occur. <clears throat> pepper spray has been around forever. What is pepper spray? Well, let me tell you first what it's not, because so many people mistake that for mace. Everyone calls it mace, but it's not. <clears throat> mace was a pain-compliant chemical. It was very popular to the late 60s, early 70s. Back then, we had the Vietnam War going on, and people were doing hallucinant mushrooms, PCP, they were doing all kinds of drugs. And I've actually read some old police reports when, back in the day where police were spraying people, and they weren't becoming compliant with the pain. They were going, is that all? You got copper? Bring it on. And they were looking at each other going, this really isn't working well. We need something else. And pepper spray was as infancy back then, but really gained popularity in the mid-70s and early 80s. Pepper spray is nothing more than oleoresin capsation. It's pepper extract. Delivered by a non flannel agent for half a second to two seconds does three things. I know you know this, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been sprayed 31 times with pepper spray. Whether it's been in training, chemical misconstructed school, you add all those years up, I've been sprayed with it. And I've also sprayed over 400 people in the last 22 years. Not civilians, I, I just play people I train and uh, other instructors in different seminars that we were at. So I have a very first-hand knowledge of what this does. When sprayed, causes an involuntary contraction in the ocular muscle in the eye. I can no longer see you to hurt you. Second thing it does, constricts the mucous membranes in my nose and throat, so it makes it very difficult to breathe. Now, we take breathing for granted till we cannot. That can create a psychological effect of fear, panic, disorientation, or even better yet, a physiological effect of hyperventilation where the person believes they cannot breathe, so they hyperventilate themselves to the point they pass out, which is good for us, why? Because when someone passes out, they breathe normal, no lasting effects, they're no longer a threat, and we're able to just call 911 and leave without issue. The third thing is the Scoville heat, you know, so much pain they feel. Now, they make one million, two million, three million, 5.5 million Scoville heat units. The industry standard for police, security, law enforcement is two million. It's also what um, you guys are gonna receive after you get your FID cards. That means nothing in the world of pepper spray, and I'll tell you why. If you take a jalapeno pepper and you open your eyeball, that's 25,000 Scoville heat units of pain. And we all use two million. Two million and 25,000. Anyone here like habanero peppers? 
Come on, you don't like habanero peppers? <clears throat> habanero peppers, they average between 50 and 100,000 Scoville heat units. And if you've ever cooked with them, you know when you're cutting them and you get that oil in your, your finger, your cuticle, you're like, oh, this really stings. That's far away from 2 million. <clears throat> it can last up to 45 minutes. It definitely lasts 20 minutes, which I like. Also, it's a force multiplier, so you don't have to worry about going hand to hand with someone 6'5", 350 pounds. You can protect yourself at a distance of 10 to 12 feet with a product that is a non lethal irritant and will incapacitate the person for 20 to 45 minutes. <clears throat> How does it work? Later on, you guys will be spraying me with the inert stuff. Don't get all excited. You're not going to get to spray me with the real stuff. But I want you to get the practice on how the stream works. I'm going to put goggles on. You'll see how you spray me in the, in the eyes, and I'll simulate my eyes closing and have you move out of the way. If I didn't have that on, it was real, it would affect my eyes, nose, throat, and respiratory system. <clears throat> I already talked about this briefly. It's an advantage force multiplier. Works on people under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Allows you to protect at a distance, no need to go hand in hand, which I love, and allows you to protect yourself against multiple attackers. The small one <clears throat> that's this size, you can shoot 25 two second bursts. So, in theory, you could spray 25 people. Great product. And this is the size you're all going to get as a thank you for taking the class so you get your FID cards. Um, come back and I'm going to give you one. <clears throat> When should you use pepper spray? Listen, anytime you feel threatened, again, if it feels wrong, it is wrong, go with it. Of course, we always want to use our verbal skills. You know, hey, you know what? I'm just not interested in you. Sorry, just get away from me. If you can, if time permits, you do not have to give that warning out before you spray pepper spray. It's all about us being safe and going home. So if you just, you know, some crazy guy just wants to ask you out and just gives him that crazy look and like you're all freaked out over it, yeah, you know, hey, buddy, stay away. I don't want you. No, no, you're really going to love me. Really? Well, here, you're going to love this. And then we'll address the issue. <clears throat> all right. Although you are smart, some on the honor roll, I know your families, you are teenagers. When do you not use pepper spray? You do not use it on your friends, family members as a joke. <clears throat> it's only to be used against a physical threat when you cannot get away. When you, you, again, you're in total, this is wrong mode. Then you apply the pepper spray and you leave the situation. <clears throat> pepper spray is not allowed in courthouses, it's not allowed in federal buildings. <clears throat> it's not allowed on airplanes or where it's posted. <clears throat> the advantage is you can bring it where you can't bring other items such as a gun. You can bring it <clears throat> to a post office. You can bring it to a bank. Um, depending on your school's policies, you can bring it to school. Talk to your parents about that one. Make sure it's okay with the school principal. I'm sure you guys already know if you can bring pepper spray on campus or not. Some allow it, some don't. <clears throat> I can tell you what's changed in the last five years. More campuses, especially, I know you're getting ready to go to college, more campuses have done away with the no pepper spray policy um, than they had in the past. I'm not going to name names because it's being on, on TV, but I can tell you local colleges around here have changed their stance on that, that yes, um, their students should be allowed to have pepper spray at all times. <clears throat> I always like to show you just what's going in it. It's got a valve, actuator, Flip safety and the propeller just shoots up the tube and out. Obviously, this is not something we want to play with, right? He's not having a good day. We feel bad, okay, but we don't want him to give us a bad day. So, again, try to move yourself out of the situation. If not, apply a pepper spray. And as mad as he seems, he will be a little more upset, but he won't be able to see you. The physiological effect I told you about contracts the muscle in the eye. It's involuntary contraction the muscle in your, the ocular muscle in your eye. I cannot see you to hurt you. Affects the respiratory system. The skin burns. Upper body control. It's not possible to build immunity against OC. I wish there was, because I would have been immune like the 21st, 22nd, and on times I've been sprayed. But I can tell you I am not. When you spray me with it, and it probably won't happen ever again. Um, 
it does affect me for a good 45 minutes before I'm able to recover and feel well. <clears throat> it's not a chemical. OC, OER is a capsation, is a non-lethal irritant in the letter of the law. It's not uh, TAS, it's not CS, it's not CN. It's regulated by the trade spice industry. The good thing about that is if you were to spray it somewhere or something, we don't need any special equipment to clean it up. It's no different than if you had a big sack of pepper and you dropped it on the floor and just spread all over the place because that's what it is. <clears throat> a few different delivery systems. You guys are going to practice with the stream because that's what I'm going to give you uh, when you come back. It's a great delivery system. And I know people were saw, we were talking earlier about, oh, is it really easy to spray someone in the face? It is. And you'll see when I get the safety glass on a little bit. Um, when you spray me with it, how the safety goggles will be all wet, and they'll say, see, that's what have gone in my eye, causing the involuntary contraction of the ocular muscle. You always want to spray for the face, even if they have glasses, like even if you have glasses, if I sprayed you with live OC right now, you still wouldn't like me. Oh, well, I could never do that, because I've known you since you were this high. <clears throat> you always want to try to spray downwind, Half second burst, although honestly, when fear and adrenaline's kicking in, it won't be half a second, it'll be more like two or three seconds, that's okay. And as far as shaking, trust me, when you're adrenaline up and you have fear going through your body and you think you actually need to deploy this, it'll be shaken up enough, you'll be able to use it. And I'm just gonna show you a couple different delivery systems, they're real quick. So the stream one, which is what we're gonna practice with later, just comes out in a stream. And then the fog, more for indoors. If you want to get something for the house, we sell foggers that contaminate a larger area. Now pay attention to when this guy blinks. Okay, he's being sprayed with live OC. He blinks once, and once you blink and it gets in the eye muscle, you're all done. <clears throat> this next slide, I hate to break it to you young ladies and gentlemen, but not everything on the internet is true. And you're sorry. Some things posted just aren't real. They don't work. I'm gonna show, this has been all over the place on the internet and I decided to start showing. You may have seen, hey, you don't use uh, pepper spray, use wasp and hornet spray. Well, I actually found this video, which I'm amazed they actually shot someone in the face with wasp and hornet spray um, and OC, and you're gonna see the effects of both. <clears throat> so first thing I'm gonna spray him with the with the real pepper spray. See, he's panicking right now, thinking he can't breathe. The irritation from the wasp spray was minimal at best. Uh, it's irritating that this isn't going to stop me at all. It definitely would not stop an aggressive attacker. I completed all the tests that before me and was unaffected by it. In fact, I haven't even washed it off my skin now. I would never use wasp spray to protect myself from an attacker. <clears throat> so Saber Red sponsored that video, and that's also one of my suppliers, and that's why I grabbed this from him. I'm amazed they did that. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone seen this, please never spray anyone with wasp and hornet, spray your friends, anyone to test this theory. It is poison that you're spraying at people. It has benefit in the, in the classroom, but guys, ladies, don't do it. Um, if you want a product that will work, use something proven like pepper spray. 
Couple ways you can hold it. Everyone right handed in here? Anyone left handed? You're right handed? They're all right handed. So I want you holding the pepper spray in your right hand when you spray me. Why? Because if we've done, I'm right handed as well, if we've done everything, brush our teeth, get dressed, open doors with our right hand, what do we lose? Fear and adrenaline. Fine motor skills, right? So if you have fear and you have adrenaline, I want that pepper spray in the hand that you're used to using. So you can simply spin it and depress it for a couple seconds and take out the person, which is what you're gonna do to me. It's okay if you were to drop it and picked up with the wrong hand, and you're gonna see in a minute where you can get use it even when you're nailing it on your back. Go with the wet hand grabs it first if you have to. <clears throat> okay, obviously this all these are going bad. They're assaulted, they're spraying. The reason their left hand is out is if they come running at you, you can always deflect them away. Or you can push them off and spray if you need to. <clears throat> One thing that's gonna happen, when you spray me, my eye's gonna contract, but my brain's gonna take a snapshot at where you are. One of the drills we had to do at munition school is when you spray me, I had to run to touch you to get water. And I really wanted water, so we ran really fast. But I never touched the person, because they moved over here. As I wandered around, I always in the back where the person was standing. Like my brain had a little GPS in it, bringing me back here. So if you spray me, be aware that if I run, I'm gonna run there. I want you to move 180, get it around me, and what do we do? And I want everyone to say this, we always check for the second person, right? Because cowards work in pairs. So we're gonna look, everything's good, safe to leave. I'm leaving, I'm on my cell phone, calling 911. But just remember, I'm gonna run at you here, and I'm gonna do that today. When you spray me, I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm gonna run a few steps, you're gonna move over here, and you're gonna see how that works. Which is what he did in this, he just sidestepped and the person ran by. But you know what? I know the whole theory about, oh, step off the tracks. Yeah, that's good, but we're not railroad tracks, so let's just make a lot of distance. And a nice arc away is much better than just stepping off the tracks. <clears throat> And here he is, he's pushing someone off. Again, very few people on their own, usually have friends, two, three, that's okay. All you have to do, just fan them out. And know that and it, with three people, if we did this, I would demonstrate with three people would actually run at your spot, but they would stop bumping into each other maybe tripping each other. And that would be good for us because they'd be down on the ground and where would you be? You'd be over here doing the whole 180 move. <clears throat> Listen, fine motor skills, things on the ground, a curb stone, a rock, whatever. You fall down, don't be so fast to get up. Even in a fight, on your, on your knees, on your back, spray him, roll away, he will still approach that area and you'll just be out. But don't think you have to get up to spray. The spray will work 12 feet. <clears throat> okay. Any animal with tear ducts this works on. We had a lot of coyote problems in Danvers last year, down in my our area, right? Um, right down the street. You live in the woods. I know you have coyotes where you are. If you had to spray a coyote, it would work. If you had to spray a dog, it would work. Hopefully you don't have to. Again, it's biodegradable. If you spray it indoors, the only cleanup is if you drop the bag of pepper. Ventilate, get a broom, maybe a mop, some water, clean it up and you'll be fine. Any questions on any of this? I you know you guys are just like, oh, come on, Mike, I just want to spray you. I got you. You don't get to, yeah, you don't get to spray me with the real stuff. <clears throat> All right. Deacon, if you, for some reason, sprayed yourself or sprayed someone you didn't mean to, for whatever reason, flush their eyes out with water. Now, this is not a good picture. You don't want to spray a hose in someone. What you really want to do is get them to a sink, or if you're outside a hose, Put the water in the hand and just let them uh, flush their eyes with their hands. Don't rub it, you don't wanna rub. And then after a few minutes, 
Take some paper towels and just tap it, their face to get it off. <clears throat> Shelf life, um, the products we use here last four years. I'm sure if you sprayed it five years later, I would be less than happy, but this is a very insurance driven industry. So they say I have to tell you in four years, get rid of it. That's why there's an expiration date. And once you get yours, I'm gonna have you fill out a card in three years and six months. I'm gonna say, hey, guess what? Time for new pepper spray. <clears throat> Storing it, okay, winter time. The non-carrying agent will freeze. So if it's gonna be below 32 degrees, do not leave it in the car. On the other spectrum, if it's gonna be hot out all summer long, you know, 90, 100, 110 degrees, do not leave it in your car. And the reason for that is not because it leaks. The spray comes out at a certain pressure. It's a non-lethal irritant. It does not create any permanent injury. If it gets so hot and so, and so fast that it comes out at a higher pressure, it can cause what's called hydraulic needle effect, which means you poke a hole in someone's eye with it. Something you don't want to do. That's why we always try to be three feet away when we spray the person. If they have you cornered, they're coming at you, you do what you have to do. But the rule is three feet, does not cause any permanent effects, does incapacitate. I'm hoping you guys never let anyone get within three feet. I like the whole 10, 12 feet. You know, zone one, if you guys know what zones are, zone one is like I'm right on top of you here, right? Zone two is I can touch you, and zone three is beyond that. And I love to live in zone three. Zone three, I can't touch you, you can't touch me, and I can certainly spray you. <clears throat> if you see the can all dented, it's just not looking well, or you even weigh it and it's losing some of its contents, which most likely you'll be able to smell, because when you get in your hands, you'll be able to smell it. Um, just replace it. Now, how do you dispose of these? Again, it's regulated by the trade spice industry, right? It's like throwing out pepper. So technically, you can just take this old can and throw it out in the trash. Again, if it was five years old and you sprayed some with it, I'm sure it would work. So what I'd like you to do is downwind, go outside, and just empty it until it's empty, then throw it away so there's nothing left in it. <clears throat> okay. You all have the application in your packet to go to the police station. You're gonna fill that out, bring a check for $25. You're gonna apply. Can I see that? And it's the first one, the restricted pepper spray license right here, number one. <clears throat> It will still take a few months to get your license. It's going to be, look like a driver's license, it's going to be a card. Once you get that, it's good for five years. And you'll be able to possess pepper spray. And then in a couple years, when you turn 18, you can go and you can upgrade if you choose to. And you won't need it once you turn 18 to possess the pepper spray. But that's what I like about the five years, because now even you know, a 14 year old who, receive, who can start the application process and they can take possession when they turn 15, it will carry them five years through the point where they're 18, they no longer need it. But it's such a great product for kids. Any questions uh, about how pepper spray works, carrying it, applying for it? Because if you guys don't have any questions, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna Break down the tables and chairs because I want a little room to move. I'm going to put my hat on, my safety glasses, and I'm going to have you guys practice spraying me as if it was live pepper spray. I like it. <laughs> you like it? Okay. All right, gather around here for a second. I want to show you how this works. And this is how the one I'm going to give you works when you get your license, okay? So, the top spins. And I'm not going to spray you. See there's a hole there? Mm -hmm. See that hole? Okay, so that means it will spray. And then to lock it, you just spin it. Okay, when you're out in the world, don't put this on a keychain. 
have in your pocket. You can even, I mean, you don't have any pockets on you, right? Which is fine, but it's wintertime, so you'd have a jacket. So put in jackets. Hey, summertime, you know, short T-shirt, that's fine, no pockets. This is small enough, you can just hold this in your hand, not on a phone, so this would be in a holster somewhere. And then, if you came up with some of a problem, and as I walk up to you, when I, I give you that crazy, like, psycho look, right? <laughs> you, <laughs> down here, but as you pull it out, you already set it to go, so it's already on. So I spin it, I'm ready to go. Then you can come up. There's no warning. At this point, game is over for Mike. Time for, time for to get sprayed. Couple seconds in the face. I'm gonna close my eyes, I'll run. I'm not gonna die, but you guys, I'm gonna run, I'm just gonna really slow, okay? Plus, I'm gonna have my eyes closed. I want you to move either way, left or right, I don't care. I'll say stop, and we'll see where you are, okay? All right. Now, the one thing I need to get is, who's, who's gonna be first? You go first. <laughs> All right. So why don't you guys stand back there? I just have to grab a towel because I'm going to be wet. All right. <clears throat> so you know how to turn it on, right? Yep. And then just press it. Yep. Okay. All right. So you can get over there with your friends, right? And I'm just going to be here. And whenever you feel threatened, spray me. I will simulate, and then. You move out of the way, and I'll end up there. Okay, okay. so you know you're with your friend stuff, and then I, you know, I just come around and like I, you know, I make eye contact. Like, who is this guy? I don't know him. And now he's coming at you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, that's good. All right. See the goggles. Okay. I'm all done. Now, Freddie, come over here for a second. <laughs> Even though I was like this, he didn't stay there. He moved. Once I blinked, the pain was enough. He was moving. I wasn't following him. All I know right now is my eyes are shut. It's in my nose and throat. It did go down my throat. Good job. Oh. That's why he used, no, that's why we use water. It's okay. But see, and we goes, oh, I don't know how you're going to spray in the eyes. It's just a stream. And, and you said it earlier, how, how does it spray in the eyes? See, and you're all going to end up hitting me in the face. Yeah. And that's why I wear the glasses. Plus, you know, I need to protect my eyes. But that was good. And did you see how, even though we know each other, you had a little adrenaline going, right? Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm going to clean this up. Next one, get ready. So, Walker, you know how to open and close that, right? All right. All right, so it's down, it's not in your pocket, good. And it can even be in your pocket, yeah. right? And I just walk around and I just like, the cycle like, ah! <laughs> and look in my eyes, did he get me? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He got me here, he shot me in the side of the cheek, he went in my <laughs> mouth. You're all good getting me in the mouth, that's excellent. Just got my finger a little bit. So you guys kind of get the idea of what I want. I want you to spray me. I'm going to simulate and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait till I get that close, guys. I mean, I'm out here. I was going to say, I'm going to shoot like, <laughs> like, way back better. I feel like I'm going to miss your face. You won't miss my face. <clears throat> that will shoot 12 feet. Yeah, it, it'll shoot 10 to 12 feet, depending on the wind. All right, so I'm over here, and then I see, oh, kid in the cast, easy target. I come up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice one. That was, that was a, a good one. one. <laughs> that was like right. Yeah. <clears throat> good shot. That's why I had the, the uh, towel. <clears throat> no, that's what, no. <laughs> Feel bad if we were using the real stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not using the real stuff. Is it that bad? I know you're just dying to get sprayed, aren't you? Yeah, I kind of want to. Okay. We can, we can arrange that. I'll talk to your parents about it. I do, I do take special requests to spray people with live OC. Can't do it here because I need a support staff. We need a water decon station. It will, it will still work through contacts. It'll still work if someone's wearing glasses. 
There's only really one way to defeat it, and I don't put that really out there. I'm certainly not going to say it because we're going to be on TV, because I don't want bad people realizing it. I'm sure they could Google it, but there's only one true way to defeat it, and you have to be wearing quite a bit of stuff yeah. everywhere. <laughs> All right, last one. Look at that. We're just getting... You guys have any questions on this about distance? Or, and try shooting me from there just to see the distance. I mean, see... Look at, uh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not even close to you. Look at, it shoots so far. Yes, it shoots so far. See that? Look at... Yeah. I'm done. And I have to get you guys like, oh, come on in. I know all the guys. No. See? You don't have to let some guy get that close to you. Yeah. And I tell every woman this. And the police come, and the guy says, I don't know why she did this. I was just going to ask her on a date. I thought she was cute. But, you, you know, it felt all wrong. Go with that and just say, listen, he came to me in an assaultive manner. And, you know, I want no part of it. And, and I tell every woman that. You know, especially, you know, a lot of work I do with people in hospitals leaving at night and stuff. But see how easy that was? Yeah. But I'm going to do it again. I want you to move. But I just want you to get the idea how far that shot. I'm not thirsty anymore, I'll tell you that. All the water you guys have been shooting down my throat. <clears throat> all right, so you can do it wherever you want, but I'm still going to run at you, so, all right? Oh. <laughs> nice shot. And see, she still got me. Only this time she got me on this side of the face. Yeah. So you guys have any question about pepper spray? Now, I'm going to tell you, huh? Do you? Really? You don't have one question? Four, you don't have one question. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you, you're going to hear this from people. You may see it online. People are going to say it doesn't work on certain people. It doesn't always work. The insurance companies sell us to tell you it does not work 100% of the time. No one's going to put their signature on that. I can only tell you, I've sprayed over 400 people in the last 22 years, instructors, guys on my team, law enforcement guys, I've never seen it not work. And the rumor that certain people are immune to it, I've never seen it. Certain people re recover faster, I'll give you that. Like, I'm on the other side of the spectrum. It destroys me. <laughs> you know, I'm definitely the 45 minute guy. But I've worked with guys, you know, 20 minutes later, they're like, Mike, you still feeling? I'm like, oh, just get away from me, give me more water. <laughs> so I've been there. <clears throat> so, you know, don't listen to the, the uh, I call them the Darth Vader's of the world. You know, the naysayers. <clears throat> Anything for me. All right, I really appreciate you coming tonight. Again, thank you, parents. When you get your FID cards, come back. I'm gonna set you up with a real can that size that works the same way, and then you'll be all set to go. Well, Mike, I have to tell you, that was fascinating. I, I just, I learned a lot. I, and I've been in one of your courses before, but the kids, I mean, this is going to prepare them for anything that they come out with in the future. I really appreciate you coming, taking the time to do this for us. And I, I think you're doing a public service. Thank you very much for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me, and I'm glad you enjoyed it.